Hello and back to episode, well part 11, not episode, I mean, why would you call this push episodes, but anyway part 11 of the F1 career mode, looking at the upgrade screen here, Ferrari, second, Williams move up the third, actually overtaking Red Bull, but let's get stuck into the weekend, that is Hungary. A warm welcome once again to the man standing beside me in the commentary box for this session. We go to the first lap in practice in the light rain conditions and we complete the track allocation. Don't know how to pronounce that word. I have murdered it. But Daniel Ricardo Red Bull looking strong here as a down force circuit. Ashwin is in last as normal though, practice free results and we finish last again. Absolute pesh going up the upper gear, moving in the qualifying, which is next. The excitement is starting to build here at the Hungaro Ring as the lights are about to go green for today's qualifying session. We expect some cars out on track any moment now. Here we go, the first lap in qualifying on the Super Soft does a 125 flat. And the next one, we're 1.2 up on the Delta, and we do a 23.8. No, 23.8 is actually not a bad lap. But you know, ultimate difficulty suggests otherwise. But there's the race goals 21st or higher, beat Signs, beat Magnuson, and 16th in the championship standings. We've seen some astonishing Grand Prix here over the years, haven't we? The drama of 2015 is a recent example. Jensen Button's first win on a wet track in 2006. Or in 1997, Damon Hill's heartbreak in the Arrows after a late gearbox failure cost him what would have been the team's only ever victory. What a wonderful place this is to come racing today. Located 12 miles northeast of the Hungarian capital Budapest, the 14 corners of the Hungaro Ring are steeped in history and prestige. Overtaking has always been difficult on this technical 2.7 mile circuit, but the last few years in particular have turned up some exceptional races. Let's hope we're in for another one here today. With me to enjoy it all is Anthony Davidson, a man who made his Grand Prix debut here with Minardi back in 2002. So, Ant, this is a bit of a special one for you, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'd say so. I also stood in to commentate on Jensen's win in 2006, and as I was a test driver for Honda at the time, you can imagine that was quite an emotional Grand Prix. It's also a tough circuit on the driver, this one, too. Lots of so before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. It was a good showing from Red Bull in qualifying, and Daniel Ricciardo starts from pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Rosberg, Valtteri Bottas, and Alonso, Hamilton, Button, Massa, and Sebastian Vettel, Sainz, Kvyat, Roman Grosjean, and Hulkenberg, Perez, Gutierrez, Felipe Nasser, and Rio Harrianto, Magnussen, and Ericsson, Pascal Wehrlein, and a Renault rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, Moving on though to the race start, five lights and away we go from the back row of the grid, we're starting on the soft compound while everyone else is more or less starting on the super soft, which basically gives us a pretty big a disadvantage, but our teammate is starting it on, but he's still going to be about 8 seconds square, we launch right down the inside, lock up, Bell didn't get a very good qualifying position, and we look behind, there's loads of contact, and there's two cars spun a force in there and a half, and as you can see here, Pretty mental incident if you ask the Steve Star, look at this half spinning, bang bang, good night, and then moving on to lap one we've got Harry Anto all over the back of us, and Harry Anto probably going to overtake us down this straight, I mean uh, Reynolds is no really having it, and yep, it's looking good night, actually no we get it, oh boy, it's just the traction in the super, and oh, debris over the track, that was probably from the last lap, but the Haas and the old Godner's contact, we damage our wings. Kafia gets through. Huckenberg spins into the wall. Chaotic start to this race. We're just lacking pace and we're bloody driving a bit like a madman. Harry Amdo overtakes us for P13. Then, I don't know why we're always in this camera angle when we go back to the action. Nazar overtakes us and now Harry Amdo's teammate, Fairline, with DRS enabled. That's us done in, doing the straight. Good night. Oh, but actually, we launched one on Nazar. 
I'm not so actually an open oh, but it was contact and then hack and then oh and we lose even more I don't even know what the hell happened there was that glitch. Gutierrez and Nazar now trying to find their way past. We're swerving like madmen. Oh god, we've hit the and Nazar and thus I think Nazar could be out of this race. Magnuson comes in. Oh and he smashes straight into him. A tire flies up in the air, Jesus. I don't like it, Mara. Mara! Mara! We come in at the end of the lap four, now lap five, I've cro uh, crossed the line, got another set of super sauce and changed our wing. We're battling Perez here for 17th, but we're about to get lapped. And we're, now Perez gets the job done. But absolute pesh, what else would you expect from us? And the virtual safety car has been deployed, and this is the first time in the entire game. Well, the career mode that I've got virtual safety car and the pit during it. Because why the hell not? Because it doesn't cost as much time as a normal pit stop. And as you can see, Roman Grosjean with a massive engine failure. And that is pretty bad for him. Oh, and there's almost contact there with Button. It would have been bad taking out a car that's lapped you, but we're battling with Hockenberg. Good night. Oh no, Christian Eriksen hanging of a move past us. And we're both on the super compound, but you know, he'll just have a lot more pace as it is Ultimate AI. And he gets the job done. Moving up to the 16th. A big K dog, a big K, but Magnus and our team make goes around to maneuver and just hits us dumb. I mean, like, we're not gonna. Because if we leave him more room there, we're just gonna hit him. Oh, get him with round wide. We rejoined, hit the cyber, spun it round, bought us, and then Lewis Hallam clips us, hits the wall, and it looks like big match. Louis Hamilton is out of the Grand Prix. Not good. That could be a safety car. You just do not know. Pretty hefty impact. But now we're in the pits again for another bloody stop. I'm sick of looking at the pits in this race. And then, yeah, we're P18 here and we're driving down the road and the safety car's being deployed in lap 29. Lap 33, it's gonna come in, but you know, this the order's messed up. Big Kevin Magnuson, who's actually been lapped, he's up ahead of us, but he's behind us as well. It's it's retarded when like the safety car comes in at a late stage and we have to let two cars through here. Basically means any battling up ahead's gone <laughs> due to this push safety car. We're moving on to lap 34, Ericsson. He's had to get lapped a few times and he's battling with Gutierrez, even though he's just letting him through. But we're on the super soft and we get the job done. And P16 is ours. There, great maneuver. Now lap 41, Christian Ericsson opens the DRS. Now we're from lap 42 and just blast past us. We just do not have the pace. In lap 52, we've come in and put on a set of the soft compound tyres. And then what's this? A force into your engine blows up. Jesus, that's pretty mental. We're driving as soon as it happens, and a safety car comes out again. Lap 60. 30 laps basically after the first one. In lap 65, the safety cars come in, but me and Massa could not catch up to the train. And with like basically two laps to go, because we've been lapped a hell of a lot of times in this Grand Prix what will happen in the closing couple of laps there's a massive yellow flag up ahead I do not know what it's for and it looks like someone's going slow holding up everyone hopefully it's someone we're battling but I doubt it and who is that Nico Rosberg a championship leader has lost the lead I think he was I think he was actually you know I think it was actually a red bull but he was up there like and then we're about to and Max Verstappen wins the race, so as soon as we seen seen this, we knew there was no other chances to overtake Axon, so we just launched it there. And P15 is ours, and then you probably think, oh, but there's Hulkenberg in front. No, he's no in front, he's actually a lap in front, and that's how you know how pesh the Renault is. But anyway, we're going to come across the line, and we're going to get P15. Another race, but we'll, we'll beat our objectives, like beat teammate. We'll uh, be above 16th in the championship. And yeah, we'll beat where we were predicted to finish. And that's another winner's trophy heading back to Milton Keynes.
And the, final, the final result, it was for Stoughton, Bottas, Raikkonen, and Button. The guy who replaced us at McLaren, Ricardo, Kvyat, Fell, Alonso, Sainz and Massa. That is the top ten. And it was Gutierrez, Rosberg. Rosberg finishing a lap down. Loads of penalties, actually. That's pretty surprising. There's us. And there's even more penalties when you get down here. Look at that. Jesus, a shit ton of penalties. <laughs> Mental. Moving on to the Drivers Championship, though, Rosberg still in control with a 46 point gap. We're for 12th. Kafia overtaking Hulkenberg are really the only noticeable thing, and Jensen Button overtaking four people, so that's pretty mega in that respect, tape. And you know, that is the end of this weekend, but usually we would just end the episode here, but we've actually included the Hockenheim practice and qualifying, so let's get stuck into Germany. Tag and welcome to Hockenheim, home of the German Grand Prix, for today's practice session. It's a big weekend for a number of our top drivers as they look for success on home soil. We'll be getting underway shortly to see how they get on. Now then, Anthony Davidson, there's been a lot of talk over the last few weeks about track limits. How much is too much when you're cutting corners and running wide? What are your thoughts on this? And do you, do you think we'll be seeing drivers pushing those limits this weekend? Well, I'd be disappointed if we didn't, frankly. If race control want to clamp down on drivers wandering off the track, then it's up to them to police it. As a driver, you're being paid to get your car around the circuit as quickly as possible, don't forget. So if you're not pushing those limits, if you're ignoring the advantageous line, then you're not doing your job properly. Now, I agree that, you know, we have these white lines there for a reason, and we do want to see those limits enforced. But for me, it's not a driver's responsibility to do that. Here we are, though, for our first lap around one or our like, third lap around Hockenheim and was back it hit the wall and our tire just flies off absolute pitch Bottas finishing first and Magnussen there he got 19th and we got 22nd no surprise we just get no pace once again Max Verstappen he gets first uh, then it's we we'll actually finished 21st so a wee bit of promise and that's practice two and let's see how we did in practice three hopefully it was better than 21st but I'm doubting it Lewis Hamilton finishing on top, Vuren on top, where did we get, 22nd, because we didn't do it, the qualifying goals 19th or higher, but it was actually wet weather conditions, but towards the end it dried out, we were 15th, and some cars didn't come out, Just uh, the, the conditions just caught everyone out, and we actually go through the Q2 for the first time in the career mode, holy shit. Holy shit, but there you go. There are the cars that got put out. Cardo, Grosjean, Ericsson, Massa, Hamilton, and Sainz. So two, well, three cars, that, well, maybe four that could easily have made it through to Q3, but not anymore. Here we go, though, on the super soft tyre. And we do a 117.8. And it's just not good enough for qualify. Um, 16th and Kevin Magnussen there in the rental. Finishing 10th, getting through to Q3, that's pretty good for him. But you know, this is where the episode, well, the part is coming to an end. And let's see, well, though, what our race goals are. 17th, speed Magnuson, 16th for higher, and pace. 